Welcome to Gemini Architecture. My name is Kailash and today we learn Rhino with V-Ray. So today I just use V-Ray for doing material and lighting. Let's start. This is V-Ray. First of all, go to render and change your render. V-Ray render. This is a parameter of V-Ray. Click on this one. And this is a dialog box of V-Ray. So first of all, I just change that name. Okay, I choose any material on it. I click here. And the force is this. Okay, I just drag and drop on my okay just apply that one right click on this one and apply material to selection okay now that is applied okay these are some objects so we just start material on it so first of all, I click on this one, add material, jam brick. I just change that name. First of all, mirror. Okay, I just change the reflection level. I just go here and do it 100%. And I just off this fictional reflection. Select your object, apply material selection. Now that is applied. Okay, check your render. Select render. See, this is my mirror. I got the object. Let's take time. Okay. Okay, now finish. Can you see the object reflection on that mirror okay this is the mirror so i do some changes i just uh, i just uh, place some lighting on it so that's give me the good result i go here and then i select video lighting and this is the planar light Okay, see the direction of light. So light is follow on that portion. Okay, I just select the light and click on this one. Shape rectangular options are there. I just check this invisible. Okay, this this that is okay. Thirty. 
I just copy my light. And paste it. And flip. Again, I just copy and paste it. Now, So this is my studio setup. So I just decrease that light. First of all, select this light and I just change the intensity. I approx 15. Otherwise, you just change from here also. That is 20 and this is okay. This is 30. That's fine. Okay, now I just some changes on my render output. Okay. Settings. Okay, this this environment. I don't need environment. Global animation. Okay, this is light cache. Edit map. Light cache. And this this is okay. Ambient. I just want this ambient also. Address is okay. check my window So this is my mirror and this is that is the balls. Okay, second. Second option. I select this ball, I go to material, I just click add material, Zambric, I just change that name. Uh, 
so this is metal okay first of all you just increase this white and all the frictional this one and the point reflection 0 0.8 so now this is the chrome check of this one because that's for glossy material okay select your object right click apply material on the selection now that is applied check your render so this is my chrome this is chrome now I just make it in gold so what I do I just go here and change the color hold on my that's okay okay now I just copy and paste on this one and that will be Otherwise, you just go and read and we move it uh, darker side. Okay, now I check my render. So what is color going on? Say. Now, that's okay. Again, I change, do some changes on this one. I just go here and check with this color. Okay, and this copy paste. Okay, red it. Okay, this is the chrome. Uh, now, second thing, I select this wall, ball, and I just red material generate. Okay, this is the glass. 
so I go here and increase this value mm, okay that's okay I uh, okay apply material on selection now see this is the glass my glass okay now it's change my glass color I just render it. See, my glass color is changed right now. So that uh, color is so dark. So if you want to light that color, just stop the render. And the value is 0.8. I just go 0.2. And now check it. So now color is reduced. Okay, you just change that uh, if you want to change uh, in another color so you just select any color from there and otherwise you just make color from there okay next is a uh, frosted glass okay okay frosted glass you just go here and Pull this one and uh, your glossiness should be 0 0.08 now that is fostered see that the fostered Now third is our glossy material. So what I do for glossy material, I just take any color and uh, that uh, you just you just see the properties. So that is glossy, cup, plate, and all other things. So if I just take any color, and I go. So this is this one, 
and I need uh, some reflection on it. So I just do some reflection. And on this one, frictional reflection. Okay, and uh, again glossy 0.8, so that is glossy. Select, right click, apply material to selection. Okay, check your render. So see this glossy object and stop it. And now I make a floor. Again, I go to material. So I apply some texture on it. Select this one, go here, take a bitmap. Okay. So I go to my C drive. this material okay. uh, I increase some reflection on it okay point glossiness point eight is okay so apply on your object okay check Let's check the end of. Still rendering going on. So this is our YouTube channel. Go to YouTube and search Chamney Architecture. Okay. 
so this is our channel there is a lot of tutorials rhino dialects pds mac rabbit autocad so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon and this is our website if you learn any courses like architectural courses we have a lot of courses for architectural autocad photoshop 3ds max dialects rhino vray rabbit and other courses also diploma degrees and all that things so let's check our render so this is our render okay this is the final render if you like this tutorial so please subscribe our channel thank you thank you for watching my video